This is a 2006 Ace Supreme Globestar. It's a four berth caravan with fixed island bed, dual axle. The price quoted includes the caravan, shipping to one of the five main ports within Australia, those being Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide and Fremantle. It also includes terminal handling charge, which is probably worth about $700 to the buyer. Um, it's cheaper for us to pay it here, but if you are going to use another shipper then it's always worth checking that they do include that. I'll just show you the weights. You can see that the maximum Weight is 1,706 kilos, tar weight is 1,408. You can also see that ACE is part of the SWIFT group which is one of the main manufacturers in the UK, the other being Bailey, so a very good make. There's an Alco tow hitch which acts as an anti-swerve so you don't use, have to use a sway bar and there's also space at the front to store LPG bottles. Just go inside, stable door with a handy pocket, fly screen. As I said before the caravan has been really well looked after and you can tell the cushions are in excellent condition, nice fabric, there's no smells or stains. All the windows are double glazed and have fly screens, blackout blinds and curtains which many people use just for decoration. While I'm here you can just see got some lights underneath. Now the two front seats can be used in a couple of ways. Firstly they can be used as single beds I just move this, you can see the width of the actual seat, it's a fair size. Alternatively, by pulling slats out from beneath the drawer unit here, you're able to form a queen size bed by pulling the seats together. The unit in the centre is removable and it also doubles up as a little coffee table. Oh small dining table if you don't want to get the freestanding one out. Got storage beneath the seats accessed either by the cupboard door like so or by lifting up the seats. Not very good with my left hand I'm afraid. Got light wood effect units. Just getting focused there you can see that enables you to um, direct the aerial without having to go outside. All nice and clean the units. Clock. Another light. Okay. Got the control controls there for the heating and the hot water. In the kitchen area we've got circular stainless steel sink with mixer tap and a belling cooker. Sorry the I just shut the blind. I just shut the blind it might make it a bit easier. Three gas rings and one electric. Grill and pan into a nice clean oven. Next to that, oops, a bit wonky. I'm going to pull out wire rack, I'm going to pull out drawer, and this here is the draining board for the sink. Tetford fridge with ice box and vegetable box at the bottom. 
And just here, this handy little pull out cutlery drawer. Then above the sink, wire rack for carrying plates when you're travelling. The handy cupboard. And this here slides back like so. So if you wanted to put in a microwave, you can. Then next to the cooker, little shelved cupboard. Opposite is the trauma traumatic heater. It runs on LPG. Drawer with all the caravan information on appliance information on appliances, etc. This handy area here for putting a TV. It's got the points, the sockets, etc. A couple of shelves. Drinks cabinet for holding bottles and glasses. JVC CD radio. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, another little cupboard. You can see that. And on the corner here is where the freestanding table is stored. And then just here you'll see the fuses, etc., for the caravan. Now, if we move on into the bedroom ensuite, we have here the Tetford Electric Swivel Toilet, vanity sink with cupboard beneath. If I just move out of the way, you'll see. Mirror, toothbrush holder, and just here, the unslide. Oops, the wrong way. And slide the door. Alternatively, on the other side is the shower, and this door enables you to completely shut off the bedroom area. Still have doors folding door on the shower, oops, perspex door like so, again lovely clean shiny shower, so it's quite nice to have a separate bedroom on suite. Okay, so we can move into the bedroom. The all important island bed. Again, the mattress is in fantastic condition. Got cupboards either side, storage cupboards above, a couple of little shelves and lights. And there's further storage beneath the bed, which is a lovely big space. Oops, and to the left, again, another little cupboard. Lots of storage in here, shelved cupboard, drawer, and vanity cupboard with shelves, down lighter, and there's also a further folding screen. It's a lovely bright modern caravan this and the cupboards on the side are exactly the same. Nice and bright as well having the large skylight again with blinds and fly screens. And there's also a further one of those at the front of the caravan, which open up and allow a lovely lot of air to come through. So it really is a nice caravan. <laughs>